If you're new to crypto, you likely have lots of questions, such as, what is an altcoin? What is the blockchain? What is DeFi? You may not quite know where to start. In this video, we will be going through and learning about one of the most important aspects in crypto. Crypto wallets and operational security, or OPSEC, surrounding the use of your wallet. To begin with, let's start with a broad and basic overview of what cryptocurrency is. Cryptocurrency, or crypto as it is commonly referred to, is a digital currency or token which can be used as a medium of exchange. Transactions made are verified and recorded by a system using cryptography. The technology used in this system is called blockchain, which is most simply defined as a decentralized distributed ledger. In order to send or receive cryptocurrencies outside of centralized exchanges, you will need a crypto wallet. So let's take a look at what a cryptocurrency wallet is and what it does. Cryptocurrency wallets come in different forms such as a paper wallet, a physical device, a program or a service. These wallets store the public and private keys for cryptocurrency transactions. In addition to the basic function of storing the keys, wallets also help manage blockchain assets. A cryptocurrency wallet often also offers the functionality of encrypting and or signing information. Signing can, for example, result in executing a smart contract or a cryptocurrency transaction. In simple terms, wallets store keys and allow users to send, receive and trade cryptocurrencies and other assets. When you set up a wallet for the first time, a set of keys will be generated for you via a cryptographic algorithm. One is called a public key, the other is called a private key. Your public key can safely be shared with anyone. This will allow others to send funds to you. Your private key is like the key to a safe and you should never share this with anyone. So let's break this down. Think of your public key as an address and let's say this address is where your crypto safe is. Crypto sent to this address goes straight into that safe but no one can access this safe unless they have the private key. Now. Think of your private key as the master key that unlocks that safe which holds all of your crypto. Having this key opens the safe which then enables you to send or spend that cryptocurrency inside because you're the one that has the key to open the safe door. But remember, this private key must never be shared with anyone. Now, let's take a look at the different types of wallets that are available. Paper wallets. This form of wallet has the keys printed on a physical piece of paper, which then needs to be stored very safely. Hardware wallets. These types of wallets look similar to a USB pen drive. Your keys are stored inside the device and only connected to a computer when you want to use your crypto. Software wallets. These type of wallets store your keys in an app or other form of software for use mainly on mobile or desktop devices. They are easy and convenient to use. During the wallet setup, your keys will be encrypted and you will be provided with a seed phrase or recovery phrase. The seed phrase itself is not encrypted and is a straight and sole source of your keys. Therefore, it is necessary to store a copy of this seed phrase securely so that it can serve as a backup in case of the following. Your wallet password is lost, the device where the wallet is installed is lost, or for whatever reason, the wallet is not functional. Seed phrases are typically made up of 12 or 24 words and are used by single and multi-wallet apps and hardware wallets like Ledger Nano. Instead of storing multiple keys for every crypto, you only need to store one seed phrase safely. This phrase will be used to recover your account even if you have lost your device, so it is very, very important you take care of this and store it safely. Once you have access to your seed phrase during your wallet setup, physically writing it down is the next best step. Memorising the phrase is not a viable option. Also, never store your seed phrase on platforms that can easily be hacked. Just like your private key, your seed phrase can give anyone who has it access and control over your funds. That said, your seed phrase security is as important as your private key security. 
You may imagine your cryptocurrency being stored in the wallet the same way files are stored on a USB drive. But in fact, the information stored on the crypto wallet only points to your cryptocurrency's location on the blockchain and can be accessed by using your private key. Your private key proves your ownership and allows you to make any transactions. If you lose your private key or your seed phrase, you will lose access to your crypto and there is no one that can help you get them back. Therefore, it is absolutely imperative that your private keys or seed phrases are not only kept secret, but very safe. This is where good OPSEC fundamentals are vital in cryptocurrency. So let's look at the definition of OPSEC. OPSEC is a term originating from the military, meaning operational security and basically refers to security precautions in various grey areas or illegal activities and most recently activities related to crypto. OPSEC matters so much not because owning cryptocurrency would imply any illegal activities, it is because cryptocurrency is currently an unregulated store of value that critically depends on how well you as an investor protect their own digital assets, instead of outsourcing that protection to an institution, similar to a bank who would normally hold and protect your fiat currency. There are lots of good OPSEC practices which you should follow when dealing with cryptocurrency. This will help you to keep your crypto safe. Here are some of the most common ones. You shouldn't access the bulk of your crypto holdings from your everyday computer. If possible, try to use a separate dedicated device to access your crypto that's used for nothing else. Keep any devices up to date and free from any unnecessary software. Don't brag or reveal your crypto holdings or how much you have as you could make yourself a target for hackers. Never buy a second-hand hardware wallet in case it has been tampered with in any way. Never store your seed or wallet backup files in a Dropbox or any other cloud storage. Your seed should be written on paper and stored safely. Alternatively, use an offline storage solution. A typical problem for long-term holders is they will chuck their crypto into a wallet and forget about it. Then two years later, a series of updates and changes mean they can't access their crypto. Always keep any device firmware up to date. Don't just buy your crypto and forget about it. Try to recover your funds every couple of months and keep yourself familiar and up to date with the process to access them. Never keep crypto on exchanges for long periods of time. Firstly, because exchanges have been victims of hackers in the past resulting in billions of dollars worth of crypto stolen. And secondly, if your crypto is sitting in a wallet on an exchange, it will be the exchange that have the private keys to that wallet, and not you. This essentially means that if you don't hold those private keys, then you are not in control of your crypto. There is a famous saying amongst the crypto community which is, not your keys, not your crypto. Basically meaning, if you don't own the private key, then it is not your crypto. You may feel that good OPSEC in crypto is boring. However, OPSEC stops becoming boring once it becomes your habit. We hope you found the information in this video useful and interesting. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more crypto content.